thank you for the time like this. We thank you for a day like this. You have set aside to glorify yourself. We say your name alone is highly exalted in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Almighty Father, Holy Spirit of God, I pray that you will use me to populate your kingdom. Speak through me, speak to us all. I step out that you will step in. Any sin in me, any fitness in me, Father, purge me away from them. Purge them away from me. Purge me, watch me, cleanse my heart, cleanse my hands, cleanse my tongue, cleanse my fellow brethren in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, Amen. God, the of your word, every distraction, every mind wandering spirit, we bind, we cast out of our mix in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, Amen. Amen. Cover our lives with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beloved, this morning, by the mercy of God, we are going to be looking into the word of uh, correction. Righteousness as a perfect nature of God. Righteousness as a perfect nature of God. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Before then, let's take a look at the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 46, verse 12 and 13. Isaiah chapter 46, verse 12 and verse 13. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 12. Okay, Isaiah 12, 13. Okay. Hearken unto me, ye, you, you stout headed, that are far from righteousness. Verse 13, I bring near my righteousness. It shall not be far off, and my salvation shall not tarry. And I will place salvation in Zion for Israel, my glory. Amen. Amen. Beloved brethren, people of God, as you can see, people of today, beloved, people, the believers, the supposed uh, followers of Christ, the people who said they love God, they are not far from the truth. They are not far from doing right. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Beloved, as it is said in the book of Romans, chapter 14, verse 17, I read. Romans, chapter 14, verse 17. The kingdom of God is not eating and drinking but righteousness and peace and joy in the holy spirit praise master jesus christ hallelujah that is to say the lord righteousness is the perfect nature of god righteousness is the perfect nature of god praise master jesus christ beloved to be righteous. Yeah. Righteousness means living in the right ways. Being right in all your ways. As you see, everything you do is right. You are right in nature. Good in nature. Being perfect as a person or a child of God. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Beloved, as this word of correction is coming, we, we, we search ourselves. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To be righteous is to be right in all our ways. Let's take a look at the first uh, the book of First John. The book of First John, chapter 2, verse 29. The book of First John, chapter 2, verse 29. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First John chapter 2, verse 29. Okay. If, if ye know that he is righteous, you know that everyone that doeth righteousness is born of him. Amen. Amen. As you can see, that book, that, that verse, it said, if you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone that does righteousness is born of him. 
That is to say, righteousness is the perfect holiness of Christ. Righteousness is acting in accordance with divine or moral law, which is natural behavior. You, will, you are naturally right in all you do. You are naturally right in your, in, your, in your conduct. You are naturally right in your behavior. Naturally born, born naturally, right in nature, good naturally. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Righteous is a natural, is a natural, is, is to be naturally right in all things. Being perfect in all things. No errors. No mistakes. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Righteousness, the perfect nature of the Lord. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We, are, we all know that God is a righteous God. And we as his children must be righteous as his proof as children of God. Beloved people of God, we all know that God is righteous, but what does that word righteous mean to humans? Beloved, today, many people, I can say 80% of people I will see in the house of God does not know the meaning of righteousness. Many people also only know it as a word. I want to serve God in righteousness and in holiness. They know it, they see it as a word. They just join others and also say it. Hey, Lord, please, I want to serve God in holiness and righteousness. But first of all, we have to first of all know the meaning of righteousness and the meaning of holiness. Righteousness, the perfect uh, nature of God, that is to say, God in humor, God in nature. A righteous person is upright in all his heart, in his heart. A righteous person is always upright. A righteous person is always straightforward. Beloved, in the old days, when you see people like Noah, in their community, in their nation, they know him as a righteous man. They will say, that man, Noah, is a righteous man. If he enters your house, it's like God enters your house. But people of today, who can both, who, who is that man that can come out today and say, I, I, I am righteous. And as a righteous, as a righteous man, you see, you see God in that person. That person is born of God. That person is carrying God in him. Praise Master Jesus Christ. A righteous Hallelujah. person is not crafty. People of God, righteousness is God himself in a man. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Without, without righteousness, holiness cannot come. Without righteousness, you cannot be holy without you are not righteous. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. People of God. Righteousness means just, lawful, and correct. Everything you do is, is correct. Everything you say is correct. Just as God is correct. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Righteousness is a, a perfect nature of God. Are we like God in nature? Are we fair to each other? May the Lord help us all in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Yes. Amen. Amen. Love it. To be righteous is to be right, just as Christ is right and truth. Christ, our Lord Jesus Christ, is the righteousness of God. Is the perfect explanation of the righteousness of God. Brethren, to be righteous means to be morally correct. To be righteous is to is is, belie is believing and showing that you are morally correct in conversations, your lifestyle, your conduct, 
the way you bring yourself, the way you talk. People will see it in you. We cannot just wake up and say we are righteous unless God himself find righteousness in us. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. God created us righteously. Yeah. He molded us before he formed us in our mother's womb. He molded us righteously to be righteous in all our conduct. Let's take a look at uh, the book of uh, Luke. Luke chapter 1, verse 6 to 7. The book of Luke chapter 1, verse 6 to 7. Verse 6, I read. And they we are both righteous before God walking in all the commandments and ordinances of the Lord, blameless, seven. And they had no child because that Elizabeth was barren. And they both were now well stricken in years. Amen. Amen. Love it. As you can see, did you verse five? You say they were, okay, yes, they were, they were, Luke chapter one, praise master Jesus Christ. Say they, they was in the, in the days of Herod, the king of Judea, a certain priest named Zechariah of the cause of Abia and his wife was of the doctor of Aaron and her name was Elizabeth and they were both righteous before God. God found righteousness in them. It's God that announces your righteousness. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. To be righteous means to be free from guilt. People of God, to be righteous is to be free from sin. I will see sinning. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Of God, let's take a look at the book of Romans, chapter 6. The book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 18. The book of Romans, chapter 6, verse 18. Verse 18. Being then made free from sin, ye became the servant of righteousness. Amen. Amen. For Amen. God to be righteous is to be free from sin free from sin. A righteous man or a woman is supposed to be right in all things in her in his or her ways of life just as Christ is right which is the righteousness of God. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. As a child of God as a follower of Christ as a product of God we are supposed we are supposed to live the life of christ just the way that christ came to live his life as a righteous man we are supposed to be known as righteous as righteous we are supposed to be seen righteousness is supposed to be seen in us praise master jesus christ Hallelujah. as children of god who live in christ which is the righteousness of God, we must be morally right in all things, in all our decision, in justice. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. How do we judge each other? Maybe we'll come to this next time. How do we judge each other? Brethren, to be righteous is to have life. A righteous man have life. You always see life in righteous people. A righteous man counts tribulation as as blessings because he know it. He know what is tribulation. A righteous man see tribulation and rejoice. Just like. Uh, the three, uh, uh, what the man of God said yesterday about the three, uh, Meshach, and Abednego. 
They saw the fire. They were rejoicing. You know why? Because they were righteous. They said, if our God did not save us, we will not bow to this God. Is that he come to save us or we die? It's better we die than to serve this image because they trust their God. They know that as, as, a children, as children of God, this thing must come to pass. They know. They were not crying. It just, it's not like uh, some of us out there. When we hear, maybe tomorrow they will cut our neck. We will start crying. Hmm? By crying, you have already submit already. As a, as a righteous man, you are supposed to be happy, jubilating. Jubilating. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. If they hate your, your maker, if they hate your creator, their own creator, how do you expect them to like you? Do you expect them to, 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 to celebrate you? No. They will kill you the way they kill your creator. If you are a really follower of Christ, praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. To be righteous is to be godly. Naturally, people will see God in you. People see you as God. Anything you do is like God. People see you as a messenger, a righteous man. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. People like Noah. People like Job. Praise Master Jesus Christ. This Hallelujah. People like Lot in the Bible. They were righteous. If you check these people, their ways were different from others. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 19. Proverbs 11. Okay, eleven nineteen. As as righteousness tended to life, so he that persuade evil persuade it to his own death. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. A righteous man does not have anything to do with evil. An evil man is an evil man. Though he pretends to be righteous, his evil is evil. But a righteous man is a righteous man. A righteous man does not pretend. You see righteousness in him. As they used to say in our parable, your life is people that see your life, your life, your lifestyle, your type of life you live. It's people that tell if you are good or if you are bad. It's a, it's a parable in our in our in our place. It's people that will say that person is a very good person. Ah, that person ah, is a very bad person. Praise Master Jesus Christ. <laughs> to be righteous is to be godly. You see that in the book of Psalm chapter 145, verse 17. Psalm chapter 145, verse 17. The book of Psalm chapter 145, verse 17. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. Amen. Good. Amen. As you can see, as children of God, we are supposed to be right in all our ways. And holy in all our works, all our conduct. Praise Master Jesus Christ. This is Hallelujah. This is a perfect nature of God, which is righteousness. To be righteous is to be God personified. The day I heard the man of God speak this English, God personified, he said, okay. It, to be righteous is to be God personified, God in you. Praise the Lord. Just like, just like the book of, we, we saw that in the book of 1 John 
We already read that, that in the book of First John chapter 2, verse 29. We saw it. God in human. God in you. If you are not righteous, God, if you are not righteous, God cannot live in you. You cannot carry God when you are not righteous. Without righteousness, there is no holiness. You can never be holy without righteousness. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Brethren, Hallelujah. to be righteous is to be favored and to favor others. You see, the blessings of righteousness endure forever. The blessings that are tied to righteousness, just like uh, the book of Matthew 6, 33, the blessings that are tied to righteousness endure forever, just as the blessing of Abraham. These are the blessings of righteousness. They endure, they, uh, they, 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 they is for generations to generations to generations, it never ends, it's spread Why? These are the blessings of righteousness. You are favored to favor others. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. We see that in the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 30. The book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 30. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Proverbs 11, verse 30. And Bible said, The fruit of the righteous is a tree of life, and he that winneth souls is wise. Amen. Amen. As you can see, as a righteous man, people see you as a God, as a mouthpiece of God. People see you as a mouthpiece of God. Everything you do is right. Your conduct is right. Your ways is right. Praise the Lord. Righteous, righteous. Righteous people are, are, are also very peaceful in nature. They, are, they speak peace. Their life is peaceful. All they do, peace. They go with peace. They bring peace to your house. Everything they do is peace. Joy. Good. Naturally. They don't practice it. They, it's their natural life. They don't change from it. Their yes is yes. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. See that in the book of Isaiah, chapter 32, verse 17. The book of Isaiah, chapter 32, verse 17. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah 32 verse 17. And the work and the work of righteousness shall be peace, and the effect of righteousness, quietness, and assurance forever. Amen. 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 A righteous person is, is a straightforward person. To be righteous is to be naturally honest. Naturally honest. Are we honest to each other? Naturally good. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Beloved, this kind of people are example of righteousness. Beloved, are we of this set? People of God. No human have this attitude, inheritance, except there is God in him or her. The question is that, how can fallen creatures like us, today we are good, in the next two hours, the color is already changed. In the other day, next day, our behavior has already changed. Today we are inside, tomorrow we are out. How can we then be righteous when fully creature? Today we sin, tomorrow we ask for forgiveness. A righteous man knows 
what is sin? Do we know what is sin? Hmm? May God help us. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. How can we have all these qualities in us? Even more, people of God, we can never be righteous if we do not have the power and the presence of God in us. Without the presence of God and the power of God in us, we can never be righteous. And holiness will not come. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Take a, big, a, a quick look at the book of Second Corinthians, chapter five, verse twenty-one. The book of Second Corinthians, chapter five, verse twenty-one. Second Corinthians five, verse twenty-one. For He had made Him to be sin for us, who knew no sin, that we might make the righteousness of God in Him. Amen. 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 Which is which is our Lord. Jesus Christ himself. Christ died in the cross in order to make us righteousness of God. A righteous man is that man that can give it all up for, an, for each other, for another. A righteous man counts glory in tribulation. When they see tribulation, because their ways are right, They see, they, they see, they see, glo they glory in it. They jubilate when they see right, when they see tribulation. Ah, do you want to remove my head because I am serving God? They are happy. Praise the Lord, because they they like, they, know they are dying in Christ. But we today, if they want to cut our neck, are we going to be happy? I will not go to be crying. Most of us will say, no, wait first. Let me choose. Will I deny God? Or will I choose? Which one will I choose now? Contemplating. May the Lord help us all in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Let's take a look at the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 22. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 22. 2 Timothy 2, verse 22. Flee also youthful lust, but full of righteousness, faith, charity, peace, with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. Amen. Amen. As you can see, it's a righteousness is demand, beloved, righteousness is demanded from us as followers of Christ. If we want to be holy, without righteousness, holiness will not come. It's righteousness that brings holiness. You find holiness in true righteousness. True righteousness, you see holiness. A holy man is blameless, pure. You come that to that next time by the mercy of God. That is what the men of God on this mountain preach every day. How to be holy. Be holy. But people of God, do we know how to be holy? Even when the men of God will say it. Do we know how to be holy? Do we know what is righteousness? Hmm? People today announce themselves as righteous. Has God tell you that you are righteous? Has God himself found righteousness in you? How will it be when someone comes to your house begging you for a slice of bread? Come today, ah, please. Sister Ego, please, can you help me with a slice of bread? I am hungry. He will come tomorrow. Can you help me with a slice of bread? I am hungry. Next tomorrow, he will also come to beg for the same uh, bread. And that person will also tell you that 
he has he or she is the owner of a bakery how will you feel is the question we, in which we ask ourselves we, we we say we are righteous this is what we are begging god every day how oh god help us help us to be perfect help us to be righteous and we are already announcing ourselves as righteous people how will god look at us how will god look at us praise master jesus christ Hallelujah. godliness is demanded from us as children of god master jesus christ hallelujah love it let's 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 walk rightly be godly in all our conduct be good in nature let everything we do be according to god's will praise master jesus christ Hallelujah. God bless us all in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Short word of correction to people like me. And may God help us all in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Love it. I want us to search ourselves, search our heart. Have we been announcing ourselves? Have we been telling God what we are not? Have we been answering the name that is not ours? That the Lord God Almighty should have mercy upon us. Forgive us. Forgive us and open our eye to see and to know how to serve him, how to worship him how to follow him in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, 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 my Jesus Christ, mighty name we pray. Amen. Are we out there? Or rather, are you out there? You are not born again. Hmm. Case is even worse. What shall it profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his soul? Why chasing shadows? Why chasing things that do not have eternal value? If God, there's no God in you, I beg you today that you bring yourself into the presence of God. Submit your totality unto him. Confess him and accept him into your life. And let God lead you. Enter his sheep and let him be your shepherd. If you are ready to do that, if you have convinced and you wish to follow Christ, I beg you, all the men of God on this team, for directions, for baptism, and as you do so, the Lord will purge you. As you confess your sins, the Lord will renew you in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. 
Let us pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord God Almighty, we thank you. We give you all the praise for your word. We thank you, King of glory. We bless your holy name, Lord. Father, have we subtracted from your word or added? Father, have mercy. Forgive me. Glorify yourself in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. King of kings, that those who have uh, 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 heard your word, Father, help us. Help us all. Even me that you have spoken truth. Father, help us. Empower us. Renew us. Open our eyes to know how to follow you. Open our eyes to serve you. Help us to wait till our change come. Guide us through your pathway. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And God bless you, man of God. More grace and strength of God upon your life. Any virtue that's led to you, may God replenish you back onto you a million fold. May you always walk in the righteousness of God, holiness of God, every day of your life. Jesus Christ, mighty name. Amen. I pray we all also. Walk in the righteousness of God. May sin not be found in, uh, in us on the last day. May it not be found in our family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So, beloved, we have heard the word today. Righteousness. I pray God Almighty, help us to recollect his words and keep us holy, righteous, rapture ready at all times. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. So, beloved, by the grace of God, it's offering time. Blessed time. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for everything you have done in our life. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Matthew. Praise the Lord. Sorry, my mic was mute. So please, a closing prayer will take my Mr. Fernand. God bless you, sir. Decorations, Sister Veronica Lombardi. Please. Amen. Amen. So please, for the sake of those worshiping with us here for the first time, uh, you're welcome to the Mountain of Solution and Redemption Prayer Ministries Worldwide, place where wholeness is preached and practiced. So please, I'm sure you've uh, heard this word of God today, word of righteousness. You can see how the Lord God Almighty is speaking to us. So please, if you still want to uh, you know, hear these undiluted messages, why not continue with us? Kindly contact us through our telephone number. And as we we'll give you this number, it's also accessible on our WhatsApp. The number is plus four nine one five two one one three three four zero one five. As well, uh, be mindful of the area code. Also, if you can contact us, maybe you have new spiritual counseling or guidance concerning your spiritual welfare, 
do not hesitate to do so by contacting us. Uh, our website as well is available, which is www.msrpm.org. So please can go ahead and visit our website. And as a newcomer, you're also encouraged to stay behind after the service closes to see the available ministers. And as well, you're currently on our, on our media print fasting, uh, media print fasting, uh, you know, session. Fasting is from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Central European time. We've already started from the 17th, and Lord Almighty has been faithful and recurring uh, true till the 30th of June. So our meeting, next meeting is going to be 11 a.m. Central European time for the second session. We're already on day 10. Uh, so all relevant information, missing, as well as we'll be having our night vigil today at 12 uh, midnight. So please, why not take that to notice and connect with us. And I pray the Lord God Almighty do wonders and may he do something, be a power-packed service to the glory of God Almighty in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, uh, let us take our monthly and the yearly prophetic because we put up time in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I declare that the month of June. I declare that the month of June is my month of walking in perfection. In complete submission to the Holy Spirit. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. In Jesus name. I also declare that the year 2020 is my year of steady and perfect work with God. In complete holiness and true righteousness. In complete righteousness. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. In Jesus Christ's name. And so I will agree and declare the God Almighty grants us the grace to work perfect, to work in perfection to the end of our life in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And we pray. Our most holy and faithful God. Lord, we thank you, we worship you, we adore you, the giver of life, the lover of our soul. Father, it's by your great compassion that we, your little children, we are not consumed. Lord, we thank you for giving us life and giving us more abundantly. Thank you, King of all glory, Lord of all lords. What a marvelous and awesome God you are. Giving us the grace to come before your awesome presence for us to start the day with you, so that we'll be able to know how to live this day for your own glory. Father, King of all glory, as we have come, Malam, my father, as you used to do, Father, Lord, you have planted, Malam, my father, another living seed in the life of your children. Lord, we thank you, for King of all glory, for your word that I have come forth. Daddy, the grace for your seed, Malam, my father, to grow in our life depends on you. We therefore ask you, my Lord, my Father, please water the seed of your word in our life today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Lord and our Father, King of all glory, Father, we thank you for the servant to whom thou have used, my Lord, my Father, this morning. Father, King of all glory, may you continually empower him, strengthen him. Every virtue that I've left him, my Lord, my Father, Father, Lord, replenish him abundantly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Of his journey, my Lord, my Father, that the Lord is work in your vanya will not be in vain. Your mercy and grace shall stand for him on that last day to receive that incorruptible crown as well as every soul in this mountain in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty, even as we are going, Lord Jesus, let your word continually ring bell in our head, O Lord Jesus. 
my Lord and my Father, as you have spoken to us this morning, a perfect and a righteous man knows what to do at all times, my Lord and my Father. Father, Lord, that goes a long way to expose our imperfectness. My Lord and my Father, we therefore ask you, Lord Jesus, in any way we are claiming, oh Lord Jesus, what we are not, and you are seeing us as an imposter, our Father, please have mercy. And so mm -hmm. our generation, we are walking towards perfection. Help us to walk towards perfection and righteousness in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Father, King of all glory, Lord of all lords, Father, Lord, let all these admonishments and chastisements never stand against us on the last day. Father, let it help us, my Lord, my Father, to be able to continually make amends, to continually cry unto you, my Lord, my Father, to work on us until we become whom you want us to be in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Father, our tithe and offering, they are before you, Lord Jesus. Father, King of all glory, as imperfect as they are, Lord Jesus. Father, please, my Lord, my Father, bless them, sanctify them, Lord Jesus, and let them appear before you, my Lord, my Father, as that sweet soul of all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. As we are going now, Father, Lord, let your mercy, let your grace, my Lord, my Father, follow us, Lord Jesus. Our children, my Lord, my Father, may they be hidden in the hollow of your hand in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. This day, my Lord, my Father, help us, O oh Lord Jesus, to live this day, my Lord, my Father, to your own glory alone in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Amen. Lord, my Father. Blessed be your holy name, for in Jesus Christ, most perfect name, we all have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. The grace and fellowship. May the grace of of the rest and surely the of our life and our entire family we were of the most high God forever and ever. Amen. And let us all ask, Lord, have mercy upon us O oh god in the name of our lord god and savior jesus christ Victory in the name of our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Be Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Let us wave up those victorious hands unto heaven. Let us shout, Glory be to our Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ. Glory, glory be to our Lord, our Lord, Lord and Savior Lord, Jesus, Lord, Jesus, Lord, Jesus, Lord, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 My beloved. So living now will not leave the presence of God. The presence of God is always mightily with us. Pray that God Almighty 
hours of grace to walk in holiness and righteousness and rapture readiness every single hour, every single minute, second of our life, ever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless us all. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.